safety report out tonight says the operator of a train on Metro's red line blew past track workers at an excessively high rate of speed last month. Jaws dropped when it was revealed that train operator had been working 30 days straight at the time. News 4's Jackie Benson has reaction tonight from riders and Metro itself on the transit system's operator shortage. 30 days, a month straight, without a day off. That's how long the Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission says the operator of a red line train had been working on November 16th when the train passed track workers at an excessively high speed. Many of these shifts leading up to this red line event involved extended and varying hours. The WMSC, an independent oversight entity, says Metro has fewer train operators than it should. Metro Rail has approximately 60 fewer operators available each day than the schedule specified. Metro released a statement to News 4 that says, Metro is on a path of continuous safety improvements and we appreciate the WMSC's efforts on our shared goals. We will review the report and take any necessary actions. Riders we spoke with say 30 days straight behind the controls of a train is too long. That's not good. Nobody should be working those hours. Not so safe, I guess you'll say, because, you know, they're probably tired. Yeah, that would make sense. Last year, Metro began an aggressive push to hire more bus and rail operators, including a salary increase. In Northwest, Jackie Benson, News 4.